The GoPro Hero 11 recently came out and in this video I'm taking it out for some landscape photography as well as meeting up with a friend and spending the night outside. So grab some snacks and enjoy. Hello there. Cheers. It's very windy today. So the fall is officially here and the colors are everywhere and I absolutely love it. Look at it. Kind of mysterious, shaded by someone I'm not really into. Do you need to fix it? So I guess our little journey for today is starting right here. Uh, we're in Rotle. This is a typical Swedish little cute village uh, with a waterfall that is the first subject that I'm gonna try to photograph with the GoPro and as you can probably hear it's very windy I'm sorry for the wind noise in the microphone I've never used the GoPro any GoPro for photography like ever so this is a first for me so we need to figure out how to use it the best way possible. I don't even know if this thing got like manual controls or something. So I'm gonna try to figure that out while you're with me and hope that we can somehow manage to get some shots that are like keepers. I guess we'll see, time will tell. Well, I just remembered I have to get back to the car to grab my ND filter because we are surely gonna need that one for this shot. Gotcha. Let's get back. So the sound of the waterfall ate my voice up. So I'm gonna do it this way with a voiceover. So here I'm trying to figure out how to go with a slow shutter speed in the regular photo mode. And it seems like the slowest shutter speed possible is 1 over 125 in the regular photo mode. And that is not enough for us to get the effect on the water. So you have to go into night mode to be able to choose a slower shutter speed. And here we can choose from 2 seconds all the way up to 30 seconds. But the photo looks like this. So we need to pick up our ND filter. I don't know if you can see this, but there are huge fish down here. I think they're called trouts. It's coming right here. Can you see it? There. Two of them. <laughs> wow. So the tent is up and running, but there's a tent there and a car right there. And I kind of recognize it from somewhere. There's, I think there's somebody inside here. Hi! Hey. Hello! 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 Do you understand that it's been more than one year ago that we went out camping and I got a freaking blood clot in my arm. 
Yeah. That was wild. <laughs> and yeah, that was intense. I thought I would never camp again. But here you are. It's fun. It's <gasps> cozy. It's uh, escaping from reality. <laughs> yeah. Look well, at all these gear. Yeah, that's... And, uh, this is insane. This is a powerhouse. <laughs> oh. I can't say that it's actually camping. It's more like lamping yeah. when it comes to me. But it's good. It's fun. It's 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 nice being out in nature and just uh, listening to the fiskus are uh, having its uh, mating call. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like every time you go camping, it doesn't have to be a like survival challenge. Sometimes it's a lot of fun doing that, but... You can bring your computer and watch it, watch a movie or bring all these kind of stuff if you want to. Do whatever you want and uh, we all will be happy. I find it quite hard to, to compose the shot with such a wide angle like there's a lot of distortion going on like usually that is what a gopro looks like but in a photo it's quite hard but i can probably compensate a bit for the um, distortion in post later it's very hard to review the shots through the gopro so i think i need to, to use the app for this to to really get a feeling of if the photo looks good or not But everything charged up right here. I got my hat on. It's time to sleep. Good morning. I slept very, very well in here on my mattress. My sleeping bag was perfectly hot. And uh, how did you sleep tonight? <sighs> you really <laughs> want to know? Dear God, let me show you. So when I was packing yesterday, I was in the studio. I was like, okay, I'm gonna pack down the sleeping bag. We're gonna have the mattress. We're gonna have everything all good. And then when I went to sleep, <sighs> I was like, this feels very thin. I hope it's gonna hold up. Then at 3 a.m. I was freezing. I was like, I brought the summer sleeping bag for <laughs> fall. God damn it. I had to go up. I had to go into the car, get some sleep. <laughs> Other than that, it was good. I woke up at like in the middle of the night with a car outside my tent. And I was like, hmm, is somebody here? <laughs> and then I peeked through the window and I saw Peter <laughs> getting inside his car. So um, I'm glad you survived. <laughs>
I'm home again in my studio where it's warm with a cup of coffee in safety. <laughs> so after reviewing the shots in Lightroom, I was actually pretty surprised of how good the image quality is. You have a lot of details and the resolution you have in it is actually very good. You can crop a lot and you still have resolution to play with. So I find the dynamic range of the sensor is not the best. It's pretty easy to overexpose the highlights and then you have no chances of getting them back. So I would suggest shooting HDR or uh, bracketing if you really want to save the highlights in a bright sky or something like that. So something I noticed pretty immediately when I started shooting with this is how extremely super wide the lens is. <laughs> and it's very hard to compose a photo with such a wide angle because most of the times you have a scene that looks good in front of you, but many times there's like stuff around the scene that would normally not make it into a shot if you have a DSLR and a 24 millimeter lens, for example. But with the GoPro, everything is in frame. Like your toes and, and the tripod legs and if there's people standing like beside of you yourself, they will almost get in the frame because it's so super wide. And I know you can choose to sh shoot in linear with this. However, you basically crop the image. I chose to, to most of the time shoot in the, the super wide. So that was pretty challenging when using this. Also, that's what I expected because I, you, you know and I know that GoPro footage, they, they do look like this. So with that said, having a camera in this size that you can always carry with you in your pocket that captures high quality photos and video and that you're able to get under the water and you can really use this for almost every situation. You can set it up on a drone and fly away with it. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. So that's what makes this camera and GoPro knows that. They know that landscape photographers won't buy this to do landscape photography and that is totally fine. <laughs> so will I change my regular gear, my Sony a7 IV with a uh, wide angle lens to this? Definitely not. But will I carry this in my pocket to be able to capture both video and photos if I need to do something underwater or some high frame rate photos or videos where I can set up the camera? Definitely. So if you're new here and aren't subscribing, if you want more nature versus tech related videos, Make sure to uh, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And grab a coffee because you're worth it. I will see you in the next video. Adios. <laughs> it's turned cold.